Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it is time for the Scrapping for Less November 2020 Flavor of the Month card kit hop. I hope you'll stick around, see what's in the kit this month, and see what I created. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Today's video is kind of bittersweet for me. I do get to share with you this fabulous kit in front of me, but then I know that it's the final one. If you haven't already seen Teresa's video with the announcement about Scrapping for Less closing its doors at the end of the year, I will link that video in the description box below so you can go get more details. I'm super excited for Teresa and her family, but I'm kind of bummed for us as crafters. But let's not dwell on the sad part too long. Let's go ahead and get into this kit. I do have to say I think Teresa is going out with a bang. This kit is full of just friendship and family and pet love goodies that I know that you're going to love and want to snag up. In front of you here is the double dip kit as well as I get the banana split ingredients. I will be sharing a look at each of the kits with you as well as a closer look at what's in the banana split and I will also be sharing the first project I create with each of the four kits. When you order your Flavor of the Month card kit, you will get access to these two printables. The one on the left gives you the name and the theme of the kit, which for November 2020 is simply sentimental. And then on the right, you get a printable with some sketches to get you started. You might notice as you see my first projects today that I have used the sketches on the right to get started as well. Are you ready to get simply sentimental? In front of me are the items you get if you buy the double dip. It includes the four collections and each one of those includes an envelope plus a selection of coordinating card stocks. Collection number one is called Puppy Paws. This collection includes the Puppy Paws paper and the Puppy Paws stamp set both by Scrapping for Less along with some twine and a collection of sequins by Scrapping for Less. I just love the more masculine colors of this set. I am not very good at masculine cards, so I think this will make it nice and easy for me. Collection number two is called Thanks So Much. This collection includes the Thanks So Much paper and stamp set by Scrapping for Less, as well as some white organza ribbon by Doris and some enamel dots by Gina Marie Designs. I am loving the patterns of these papers and that stamp set has just a great variety of thank you sentiments for different occasions. My most favorite stamp set and one that I want to put to good use is the one that says thank you for supporting my dream. I thought this would be nice if you have like a little crafty shop as little thank you tags for people who buy your products. Collection number three is called Family Ties. This collection includes the Family Ties paper and Family Ties stamp set by Scrapping for Less, as well as some paper flower embellishments by Doris and enamel dots by Gina Marie Designs. I am loving the sentiments on this stamp set and the patterns in the paper. Not only are the colors so pretty, but they're just very versatile patterns.
Collection number four is called Wildflowers. It includes the Wildflowers paper and stamp set by Scrapping for Less, along with some ephemera also by Scrapping for Less, and enamel dots by Gina Marie Designs. The sentiment is so pretty, I'm loving that font, and it says you belong among the wildflowers. The colors in the pattern paper are also gorgeous, those kind of light, pretty colors, and the ephemera adds such a nice touch to any card. As part of the design team, I do receive the banana split. This is an add-on and always just includes fun extras that coordinate with the month's theme. This month, you get the banner die by Scrapping for Less. I love those little stars in that. You also get the hearts embossing folder by Doris, as well as a little baggie of sequins by Scrapping for Less and a whole spool of ribbon by Doris in this nice light pink shade. I hope you enjoyed getting a look at the next Flavor of the Month card kit and seeing the cards that I created with it. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Now don't forget to go visit the next person on the hop. They're linked at the top of the description box below. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.